In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at what's easily the best external SSD I've ever tested on M Series Max the MSI Datamag 40 gigabits per second. The MSI Datamag 40 GBPS is an updated version of the older Datamag 20 GBPS, which MSI released last year. Unlike the older version which used the USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 interface, this new version is USB 4, meaning potential read and write speeds of up to 4000 megabytes per second. On the back of the box we can see that MSI includes a 5 year warranty, which is well above the industry standard of 3 years. Looking inside the box, first we find two USB Type-C to Type-C cables. One short intended for use with a cell phone and one longer cable intended for use with a laptop or PC. Next we find the drive itself. Peeling off the plastic reveals the brushed aluminium alloy finish. This metal construction really makes this drive feel like a premium product and very solidly built. There's a loop on one corner for a lanyard and on the back we can see the single USB-C port and the LED activity light. There's also a USB Type-C to Type-A adapter for all the computers without USB-C and finally there are a couple of adhesive magnetic rings. So that if you have a phone without MagSafe you can attach this ring to your phone's case and still stick the drive to the back of your phone. So that's the contents of the box, now let's take a look at the most important aspect of the drive, the performance. For testing I'm using my 2025 M4 MacBook Air. After connecting the drive to my MacBook for the first time, we see a pop-up asking if we want to connect Fizen USB disk to this Mac. Fizen is the manufacturer of the USB 4 controller in this drive. Click on allow and the drive is mounted. Looking at system information on the Thunderbolt USB 4, we can see that the drive is connected at 40 gigabits per second. By default, the drive comes pre-formatted as XFAT, so that it's compatible with Macs, PCs and iOS or Android phones. When formatted as XFAT in Blackmagic Disk Speed Test, the drive scores around 2600 megabytes per second for write, and just under 3000 megabytes per second for read. SSDs on Mac tend to perform better when formatted as APFS, so I reformatted the drivers APFS in Disk Utility and ran Blackmagic Disk Speed Test again. This time the write speed was just over 3000 megabytes per second and the read speed was nearly 3040. For the sake of comparison, here's the speed of the internal SSD on my 2025 M4 MacBook Air. About 1800 megabytes per second write and 2880 megabytes per second read. So the Datamag 40 is about 80% faster in write and nearly 10% faster in read than the MacBook's internal SSD. Here's a comparison of the read and write speed of the Datamag 40 GBPS along with some other external SSDs that I've tested. It's more than four times faster than the Samsung T7, three times the speed of the Xeria Plus G2, and about three and a half times faster than the Western Digital NVMe drive in a Ugreen USB 3.2 enclosure. For a real world test, I tried copying my 130.8 gigabyte Final Cut Pro library from the internal MacBook SSD to the Datamag, and it took 61 seconds, so that's about 2.14 gigabytes per second. That's a little lower than the synthetic benchmarks, but I think the bottleneck here was probably the MacBook's SSD rather than the Datamag. As for pricing, I paid 199 euros for the two terabyte version shown in this video, with the one terabyte version costing around 129 euros. This may seem expensive, but a 2TB NVMe drive right now can cost in excess of €200 Euros on its own, and you'd still need to buy the USB 4 enclosure to put it in. So this drive's perfect for using with an iPhone to shoot ProRes RAW video, or with a camera that can record directly to SSD, like the Panasonic GH6 or the S5 II. 
After recording your video, you can just plug the drive straight into your Mac and edit the footage directly on the drive. Overall then, this is a very well designed, extremely fast and versatile drive which is highly recommended. Especially for anyone who has to work with large files on a regular basis, like content creators or videographers. If you're thinking of picking one up, there'll be a link down in the video description. That's it for this video, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. That's it for now, thanks for watching.